Okay. Hey, everyone, this is Jessica Jewell. I'm here at Lincoln Yoga Center, and I'm, uh, I don't even know where to look, really. <laughs> That's okay. I'm so happy to imagine you on the other side. Mm. So, we're going to begin today's class in crocodile posture. I'm going to demonstrate it for you. And then I'm going to sit up, but you stay lying down, okay? So to come into crocodile, I encourage you to have a blanket or a pillow at the top of your mat. And you're just going to lie prone on your belly with your forehead resting on your blanket, your arms over your head, your toes untucked. And relax. Begin to slow down your breath. <sighs> it's so good that you've made time to Turn inward today. <sighs> Let your muscles relax away from your bones. Notice Notice the space you're in, the room around you, and become aware of any sounds, smells, patterns of light. And without becoming at all attached to any of those things, just simply notice them. And notice where you are in space. Slow down your breath. And with your next inhale, draw your attention to the surface of your skin and feel there whatever is right against your body. It might be the blanket or pillow under your forehead the floor beneath your arms, the clothing you've put on. The temperature of the air on your skin. Slow down your breath. Inhale and exhale through your nose. And with your next inhale, become aware mm, of your nostrils. Ah. Feel Feel for the cool air drawing in.
Feel for the warmer air hmm, moving out. Go deeper. With your next inhale, as you draw breath in through your nostrils, follow your breath down all the way into your belly. And as you inhale, let your belly soften and press down onto the earth. As you exhale, draw your navel back toward your spine and feel for the breath moving upward and then coming out through your nose. I'm so happy that you've taken time to turn inward. For this practice, you are welcome to pause the video at any time Right? What a great feature. Um, so if there's something that's feeling challenging, stop, slow down, and reconnect with your breath. Ah, and for this practice, let's make it about the breath. About hmm, being in our body, Letting the body take different forms. Ha! Ah, and then in each form to explore, hmm, where is the balance here? Where is the balance? Ha! Ah. Okay, my friends, as you're ready. Draw your hands back alongside your ribs. And let's tuck our toes. With your inhale pressing down through your hands, lift up onto your knees and then scoot your knees forward so they're underneath your hips. Keep your toes tucked. Moving with our breath, with your inhale come into cow posture. Letting the front of your spine drop down and lengthen. Your hips, shoulders, head and gaze lift up. And as you exhale, untuck your toes, round your back as you draw your navel in and even up towards the heart. And at the very bottom of your exhale, give your head a little shake. Release any tension there. Inhale, tuck your toes, lengthen the front of your spine, maybe even drawing the upper chest through the window of your arms. Exhale, untuck your toes, round your back, and here your hips may shift slightly towards your heels. Oh, if that feels good, then wonderful. Let that happen. One more time, inhaling to come into cow posture. And then exhale, ha, rounding your back to come into cat. With this inhale, tuck your toes and come into cow again. And you're going to keep this shape in your torso and with your exhale, bend your elbows and draw your upper chest forward and lower your chest and chin to the ground slowly. <laughs> uh, untuck your toes, 
Press into the tops of your feet so that your knees lift and you can slide your legs straight. With your exhale, bring your knees to the ground, chest, forehead, all touch down to the mat. As you inhale, lift your head, upper chest, and lift your knees. Keep your feet on the ground. Ah, exhale, bring your knees to the ground, chest to the ground, forehead comes down. Inhale, lift your head and chest, and then your knees. At the ah, top of this inhale, broaden behind your knees. Yes, exhale, knees to the ground, chest to the ground, forehead to the ground. Good. Tuck your toes, and with your inhale, we're going to press up onto all fours, and then send the hips to the heels. Melt your heart towards your mat, bring your forehead to the ground, Let's take a couple of breaths here. I would encourage you to rest your forearms, relax your hands, and slow down your breath. Hmm. With your next inhale, Lift up onto all fours. Here, let your wrist creases be forward of your shoulders. Again, your knees are underneath your hips and your feet extended straight back from your knees and your toes are tucked. Ah, lift your fingers off the ground and find the ball mound of your index finger, ball mound of your pinky finger, and the inner and outer heel of your hand and press those four points down. Ah, relax your fingertips back to your mat, just letting the very, very tips of your fingertips caress your mat. The rest of the finger may even be lifted. Take a deep inhale here. And with your exhale, lift your knees, say about a foot off the ground, and then pressing into the ball mount of the index finger, outer heel of the hand, send your hips towards the back of your mat, adjusting your hands as necessary, and keeping your knees deeply bent, maybe you can rest your lower ribs on your thighs. Relax your neck. And take a deep breath here, inhaling and exhaling. And with your next inhale, can you lift your heels even higher than they are now? And then lift your sitting bones to straighten your legs. With your exhale, reach back and down through the outer heels. And if the heels come to the mat, lift your toes. Press through your hands, right hand, right hand especially right now. And from the right hand, send weight to your left heel. Ah. Finding your left hand now, press into the left hand strongly and send weight to the right heel. If your toes are lifted, go ahead. You can relax them back down now. And take a breath here. Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Mm -hmm. oh. If you're feeling tense, do a lion's breath here. Inhaling through your nose and exhaling, opening your mouth. Stick your tongue out, let it all go. With your next inhale, walk your hands back towards your feet, bending your knees as much as you need to so that your fingertips can stay on the ground. 
with your hands just forward of your feet and your knees slightly bent. Lift your head and your upper chest and as much as possible, straighten your legs. With your exhale, bend your knees, bring your lower ribs to your thighs, roll your chin towards your throat, and at the very bottom of your exhale, draw your elbows a little closer together. Inhale, lift your head, upper chest, strain your legs. At the top of the inhale, there's a little pause. In that pause, internally rotate your femurs, straighten the legs a little bit more. Exhale, bend your knees, fold forward, chin to throat, elbows in. And one more time, just like that, inhaling into this posture called Ardha Uttanasana. And exhaling into Uttanasana. At the bottom of this exhale, go ahead and bend your elbows, lift your hands, and hang here in Ragdoll for three slow breaths. It's okay if you want to straighten your legs here. Just keep your lower ribs connected to your thighs as you do. <sighs> Let your hands come back to your mat. And with your next inhale, walk your hands forward. Come back to downward facing dog. Hmm. With your next inhale, lift your right foot a little bit above the ground. Keep the hips symmetrical. And as you exhale, bend your knee in towards your chest, shifting your shoulders forward. Look between your hands. Ah, here, see if you can bring your foot between your hands. And if you need to reach down, grab the, the leg and help it forward. That's totally fine. Two blocks, right, can be really helpful here. So if it's Challenging to reach the ground, just lift the ground to you. If you do that, have the palms of your hands on the tops of your blocks and your fingertips draped over the front. Good. From here, bring the back heel to the ground. Boom. You'll probably have to step forward a little bit. Let the back toes be slightly turned out compared to the front toes. Bend your front knee. Here, before we lift up into warrior one posture, lift your front toes, your right toes off the mat. Press into the ball mound of your big toe, the outer heel of your foot, and draw the outer right hip back. Ah, then draw it in a little bit. Mm -hmm. Then you can relax your front toes back to the mat and shift into your back heel, lifting the back toes. Here, Pressing into the ball mound of your pinky toe, the inner heel of your foot. Lift up and mm, draw the inner head of your femur into the hip socket, deepening the hip crease. Good. Mm. If, you don't, if you don't know how that feels or that's confusing, what you might be able to notice is your outer left hip will come a little closer to the ground. So keep this action in your legs and with your inhale, now we're going to lift the hands up towards the sky. Good. Look down at your front knee. Let it track between, say, the second and third toes and make sure your knee is behind or right over your ankle, not in front of it. Good. Press into your back heel. With your inhale, we're going to make a cow shape in the torso. Lengthen the front of your spine. Yes, inhale. 
Ah, exhale, let your, hmm, let your tailbone come down and forward slightly. And then keep the softness in the back hip crease. Internally rotate your leg one more time. Good. From there, inhale, reach the arms up towards the sky. And here, hmm, make your palms taut by broadening across the base of your index fingers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> with each inhale, lengthen the front of your spine. And with each exhale, draw your arm bones into the shoulder sockets, the shoulder blades down onto the back. And let the inner tips of the scapula, the inner tips of your shoulder blades, press slightly forward to help lift the upper chest. And take a deep breath here. Right, this is important, this is important. Keep your lungs healthy, your respiratory system healthy. Take a slow breath here. Hmm. With your next exhale, bring your hands forward and down. Turn onto your back toes, and with your inhale, press back into three-legged dog. The right foot lifts any amount off the mat. Exhale, downward-facing dog. Ah, so here, yogi's choice. Stay in downward-facing dog for five breaths, or with your inhale, bring your knees to the ground, untuck your toes, and with your exhale, sit back, child's pose. Ah. And take a few breaths there. With your next inhale, if you're in child's pose, let me say it differently, if you're in child's pose, with the next inhale, lift up onto all fours, separate your knees, hip width apart, tuck your toes, exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, lift your left foot up some amount, it doesn't have to be a lot. Exhale, bend the knee in towards the chest, Shift your shoulders forward and look between your hands. Ah, see if you can bring your foot to the space you're looking at. Mm -hmm. Help your leg if you need to. Grab your blocks if you'd like. Mm -hmm. Bring the back heel to the ground. The feet are mm, just about hip distance apart. And if you drew a straight line from your front heel, let me say that. If you drew a line from your front heel straight back, it would intersect with the back heel, yes? Now, lifting the front toes, your left toes off the mat, press into the ball mound of the big toe, outer heel of the foot, that will lift the inner arch, yeah? Keep the inner arch lifted, but don't let the inner heel come off the mat. And then draw your outer left hip back a little bit, in a little bit. Relax your front toes to the mat. And lift your back toes, sending weight into the heel. Ah, finding the ball mound of your pinky toe, inner heel of your foot, internally rotating the femur in the hip socket, which will soften the hip crease. Hmm? Good. With your next inhale, lift your torso, lift your arms. Ah, check out your front knee. Make sure it's got the alignment, right, that will, hmm, that we want here in Warrior One. Yeah, and so that means the knee is slightly behind the ankle, right over it, tracking in between the second and third toes. And with your next inhale, can you lift your arms a little higher? Maybe feeling for the ribs lifting away from the pelvic girdle. And as you exhale, mm -hmm, draw the arm bones into the shoulder sockets, the shoulder blades onto the back, inner tip of the scapula pressing forward. Aha! 
Make your palms top. Broaden across the base of your index fingers. And there's no rule about smiling. So smile if you want. Don't smile if you don't want. But become aware if there is tension in your face. And if there is, can you soften your face? And take a really deep breath here. <sighs> With your next exhale, release your hands forward and down, bringing them to the mat. Turn onto your back toes. Inhale, press back, three-legged dog. And exhale, <sighs> downward facing dog. Couple of breaths here. Nice long breaths. <clears throat> With your your breath. Walk your hands and feet in toward each other. Put the hands in front of the feet. Inhale, lift into Ardha Uttanasana. And exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Have a deep bend in your knees. Mm, send your hips towards the back of your mat. And with your inhale, lift your torso. Lift your arms up into Utkatasana, chair posture. The muscles of your legs are drawing in towards the bones. Take a deep breath. Mm. And with an inhale, straighten your legs. Reach your hands up. Look up between your hands. With your exhale, turn your palms away from each other. Reach your hands back and down. Go nice and slow. Take the whole exhale. Inhale, reaching forward and up. And exhale, ha, back and down. And one more time. Inhale, forward and up. And exhale, back and down. Ah. Let your arms relax alongside your side body. Have a tiny micro bend in your knees. And draw your attention to your feet, maybe even closing your eyes. Notice, notice your balance from side to side. Rocking very gently, very gently from side to side to evenly distribute your weight over your feet. Once that's happened, ah, lift your toes, find the four corners of your feet, lift the muscles in and up along the outer leg, along the inner leg, along the front of your leg, and along the back of your leg. So, your legs, both legs, yes? Now, relax your toes back down to your mat. Take a deep breath here. Bringing your hands to the top of your pelvis. Ah, with your inhale, mm, move these front hip points forward just a little bit. And with your exhale, move them back. Just a little bit is enough. Try that again. Inhale, rolling the upper pelvis forward. Exhale to roll back. Notice what's happening in your lower spine as you do this. And let yourself rock into balance 
front to back. Once you've found that balance, let your arms relax down. Take a deep breath and with your inhale, lift and lengthen the front of your spine. And with your exhale, relax your shoulders down. And ah, use your shoulder blades to help press your upper chest forward. Lift it up without, without letting the lower ribs pop forward. It's just a nice lift in the upper chest, making more space. Ah, with that space and that lift, take a couple of deep breaths, and this time bring your attention to your back body and see if you can feel the lungs inflating in this place. Inflating on the inhale and contracting on the exhale. Try that for another breath. Mm -hmm. ah, yoga feels so good. Okay. Bring your hands to your hips. So we'll do a balancing posture called dancer. And here, with your hands at your hips, lift your right toes. Lift your right toes and ah, externally rotate your femur. Bring the outer right hip slightly back and then slightly in. Draw the muscles in and up your leg. And then, okay, it's time to open your eyes. Open your eyes. Relax your toes if they're still lifted. And let your eyes hmm, find a place to look either on the floor or the wall in front of you. Let your gaze be steady and soft. And now shift your weight to your right leg. Oh. And when the right leg has taken most of your weight, let your left foot lift up the heel coming in towards the back body. Left hand can come down and hold the top of the foot or the ankle if you can. If you need a strap, pause the video and get your strap and use that, right? Draw your knees together, knees together. And now here, oftentimes, your left shoulder goes way back. Draw it forward. Maintain symmetry as much as possible in your hips and in your shoulders. Ah, yes. Good. If you're feeling comfortable here, see if you can move your hand to the inside of the foot. So now your thumb is pointed up towards the sky and your pinky is pointed down towards the ground. Mm -hmm. Just see how that feels. And if all of that is working well, with your next inhale, lift your right hand up towards the sky. Keep the arm close to the ear and take a deep breath here. Hmm. Inhaling to lengthen the front of the spine. If this is working fine, exhale, kick the foot into the hand and move the knee towards the back of your mat. Keep your hips Parallel, symmetrical. Keep your shoulders symmetrical. Lengthen the front of your spine as you reach up towards the sky. <sighs> Good. Now, exhale. Bring your right hand back to your hip. And slowly, with control, release your left foot. Let it come down to the mat. No big movements here. And when the foot comes to the mat, rock to the left. Rock to the right. Ha! Ah, release your right arm down and rock yourself back to balance, back to balance, side to side. Uh-huh. Take your time. Really feel it. Really find that balancing place. And rock front to back, too. 
Ah. Breathe. Breathe. And just feel. Feel your body. I'm not asking you to think about your body. I'm asking you to step beyond the words, step beyond the thoughts, and just feel. Maybe you feel your heart beating. Whatever it is, take one more breath here. Let's do the other side. Bring your hands to your hips and lift your left toes off the ground. Finding the external rotation of the femur, starting it from the ball mount of your big toe. Wrong. That draws back and in. Relax your toes down. Mm -hmm. Look. Find the same spot that you looked at earlier or find a new spot on the ground, at the wall. Whatever is comfortable for you is just fine. Ha! Ah, draw the muscles of the left leg up and in. Firm up that leg and now send your weight to the left. Mm -hmm. When the left leg is well weighted and the right foot is light, lift the foot off the ground. Reach down. Hold on. Ankle or top of foot is fine. Draw the knees in toward each other. Mm -hmm. Good. Make sure the left leg is staying nice and strong. And if this is fine, right? So you can stay right here. This is enough. <sighs> this is enough. But if you'd like, you can work your right hand around the foot so that now it's holding the inside of the foot. Mm -hmm. If that's feeling fine, with an inhale, lift your left hand up towards the sky, bringing the arm alongside the ear. Mm -hmm. Now here, we're just going to take a breath and find ah, symmetry between the hips and the shoulders. Ah, uh -huh. shoulders stacking over hips. Now, with your inhale, lengthen the front of your spine. A little cow posture. And if you're feeling good still, exhale. Press the foot, the right foot, into the hand to move the knee towards the back of your mat. Keep your shoulders, keep your hips lined up. Inhale, lengthen along the front of your spine. Exhale, navel to spine. And Feel welcome to relax your face. Ooh. Yeah. I'm going to take a deep breath with you right now. Good. With your exhale, left hand comes down to the hip, right? Coming out of the postures. Ha! <sighs> we want to come out with awareness, right? So letting the foot go. The right foot comes back down to the mat. No big movements. No big movements. As you sway gently back to balance. Observe your breath. Notice feelings. And release words. <sighs> With an inhale, reach your hands up towards the sky. And exhale, bend your knees and fold forward. Hmm. Inhale to come into Ardha Uttanasana. Huh? Exhale, Uttanasana. 
here, I'm going to turn towards the camera, I think. I'm going to turn around so you can see. <clears throat> Separate your feet a little bit wider than your hips. And with an exhale, drop your sitting bones down. You can bring your arms to the inside of your legs and your hands together if that feels good. You might try lifting your toes and finding the four corners of your feet. Hmm. Take a breath here. Mm -hmm. And then bringing your hands behind you for support, bring your sitting bones to the ground and extend your legs forward. You might want to have a strap handy. Hmm, coming into Dandasana, staff posture. Let your hands rest alongside your hips, feeling the ball mound of the index finger, outer heel of the hand, pressing down. The outer shoulders drawing back. The chin down and in. The back of your neck long. Chiasana. Bend your right knee. Bring the right foot to the outside of the left leg. Bringing your hands behind you, let yourself relax back away from the leg. And here, lifting your right toes, finding the ball mount of the big toe. Just feel how it is to keep that point on your mat. With an inhale, lengthen the front of your spine, coming into a little bit of a cow posture here. And as you exhale, wrap your left arm around your right leg and bring your right hand behind you. Now, ha, ah, sitting bones. Notice your sitting bones. Are they evenly weighted? And if they are, wonderful. And if they aren't, give it a try. See if you can balance evenly across your sitting bones. Ah, mm hmm For those of you who kind of know my style, right, I'll give you a little bit more here. So the extended leg is externally rotating. The outer left hip draws back, yes? And the leg that's crossed, pressing into the ball mount of the big toe, outer heel, that's nice. Now, draw the outer right hip back and turn your shoulders. Hmm. And keep the sitting bones evenly weighted. And the bent leg, just right, you are actually trying to balance the inner and outer rotation and the femur here. Huh. <laughs> If you're feeling really comfortable, you're welcome to turn to look over your back shoulder, but that's a small thing, so let's make it about taking a deep breath. Hmm. With your inhale, release your twist. You're going to shift your weight to your left hip so you can bend your left knee and then stack your right leg on top of it. Here, both feet are coming to the outside of the hips, framing the hips. You might take a hand just above each knee and bring your knees, stack your knees together. Your feet stay active. The outer edge of the foot is pressing down into the mat. It's actually working here so that you can ah, have really strong, stable legs, a strong, stable foundation for your practice. Right? Here, mm -hmm, we'll lift the left arm, bend the elbow, and bring the hand behind us, and then wrap the right arm around. We're going to see if we can hold on 
to our fingers or our wrists if you're very flexible. And if your hands don't reach each other, then please feel welcome to use your strap right now. As you can, reach your elbows away from each other and any place that feels hmm, resistant, as long as it's not in pain, right? If it's in pain, you just back off, ah, <sighs> back off, right? But if it's a little bit of resistance, it's not pain. Can you send the breath right there and maybe even see the breath as like a wind blowing through, right? the fibers of your muscles. Creating more space, dissolving tension. <sighs> Have one more breath here. Releasing your hands Bring the arms alongside your hips, then slide your hands back, come onto your sitting bones so you can unwrap your legs, extend them forward, Dandasana for three breaths. Let's do the other side. Bending your left knee, bring the foot to the outside of the right leg. Lean back, lean back. Activate both feet. Ah, and with your inhale, lengthen the front of your spine. With your exhale, wrap your right arm around your left leg, using the arm to draw the leg in towards the chest let the left hand slide behind you. Ah, now, mm -hmm. ball mound of the left big toe presses down, outer heel of the foot presses down and draw the outer left hip back to turn the shoulders. Make the extended foot active. Turn to look over your back shoulder if that feels really good on your neck. Really good. So notice, does it feel good or are you doing it out of some hmm, expectation or habit? Make sure it feels good and it will feel good hmm, probably if the back of the neck is long. With your next inhale, release your twist, shift your weight towards your right hip so you can bend the right knee. Stacking the legs, knee over knee. Bring your hands to the outside of your hips. Close your eyes and take a couple of breaths here. Letting yourself settle into the posture. Letting yourself find balance between the right and left sitting bones. This time the right arm lifts and the left arm wraps around the back. Move with your breath and move your arms into this shape. Holding on to your strap, fingers, wrists, whatever you're grabbing. Can you feel the hands pressing into the space between the shoulder blades? 
Let them. Hmm. Give you some extra support. Extra support to lift the upper chest. And take a deep breath. See if you can feel your lungs swell. position of the arms, with the hands for support, unwrap the legs and come back to Dandasana. You might want your strap here if you don't easily reach your feet, so you're welcome to take the strap, place it in the space between your toes and your arches, having the tail in each hand, the arms straight, and the upper chest lifted. Balance between your sitting bones front to back and side to side. With an inhale, let the breath lengthen the front of your spine. And as you exhale, bend your elbows away from each other and move your upper chest towards your toes. And why not move your toes towards your upper chest while you're at it? Okay, don't move your chin there. Oh, keep the chin drawing down and in, the back of the neck long. Don't try to Get your shoulders to your toes before your upper chest either. Right? Uh, keep your upper chest lifted and rooting evenly through your sitting bones. Inhale, lengthen the front of your spine. And as you exhale, bend your elbows and draw your heart forward and maybe a little bit down. Have a little softness in your knees and finding that inner head of your femurs, draw them more deeply into the hip sockets, into your hip sockets, and then inhale, lengthen the front of your spine. And your exhale, fold forward one more time. Now at the bottom of this exhale, you can release your strap and let your hands rest alongside your legs. Ah, let your chin come down and back. The back of the neck is very long here. If it is easy for you to hold on to your feet, you are welcome to do that. If it's easy for you to rest your forehead on your shins, you can do that too. Pause Chimottanasana. Oh, forward bend. An opportunity to go even deeper. So take three deep, slow breaths here. Inhale, lift up out of your forward fold. Mm. Okay, grab a block and come to a sitting posture, letting yourself sit up on your block, sitting bones on the block. Knees below your hips, so you're like a tripod. And you can let your Hands come into what's called Jnana Mudra, right? Mm. In this posture, the index finger and thumb come together. And there's a lot of significance here 
for today, I'm drawing my index finger down below the top of my thumb. Do that if that feels good to you. And then rest your hands. I would suggest palms down right now. So we'll do a breathing practice, a pranayama called Kapalabhati. Mm, skull shining breath. And if we did this long enough, you might work up a sweat. <laughs> your skull might shine. But for today, we'll do uh, practice 108. So Kapalabhati, we have a sharp exhale through the nose and a natural automatic inhale, which also comes through the nose. Right? So that with each exhale, the navel draws back towards the spine and with each inhale, the belly relaxes. So for Kapalabhati, right, we're going to do 108. You'll do it with your own count. I am like a locomotive here. I like to start off slow, slowly build up speed, and then get going, and then slow down like I'm going to park the train again at the end. Right? So I'll do the practice with you. Either right, you can let me be um, guiding you through this, or just do it at your own pace, whatever feels best to you, okay? Alrighty, I'm not sure where I should be looking, so if my eyes are in some funny place, I apologize. So let's do 108 of Mala of Kapalabhati. Yes. Ah, so before we start, right? Oh, find your sitting bones. Evenly weight, side to side, front to back, mm -hmm. shoulders over the hips, upper chest lifted without crunching your kidneys. Mm -hmm. Good. Here we go. We'll start together on the inhale. So inhaling together. Slow down your breath and just notice any sensations arising now. Shavasana. Come off your block. Lie supine on your back. Ah. I encourage you to cover your body so that you stay nice and warm. Let your arms open and your feet open. 
Keep your chin below your forehead. And slow down your breath. We'll have five breaths here, but feel very welcome to pause the video and extend your Shavasana. With an inhale, bend your knees, bringing the soles of your feet onto your mat. And with your exhale, roll over onto your right side into a fetal posture. Mm -hmm. And take two breaths here, letting your shoulders and hips hug in toward each other. Use your hands on the floor for support to lift into a comfortable sitting posture. Oh, I'm going to do Padmasana today. Bring your hands on top of your knees and bring your index finger and thumb together. Take a deep breath. Feel the breath in your body. And with your next inhale, move to the surface of your skin. Feel the clothes against your skin. The temperature of the air, the ground upon which you sit. With your next inhale, ah, expand your awareness into the room you're in. Notice sounds, smells, and through your closed eyes, patterns of light and dark. <sighs> Let's bring our hands together, palm to palm in front of our hearts. Thank you. And I want to just, I think more than thanks, what I want to say is good job. Good job taking time for yourself, nourishing yourself. We need you, and we need you healthy. Right. So keep practicing yoga and let us know how we can support you. It has been such a pleasure to be here with you today. <laughs> kind of crazy for me, but really neat. And I look forward to practicing, practicing more with you. Let us know, let me know how I can help you, okay? Thank you, namaste.